Hey everybody, it's Amy Graham, uh, the Badass Valkyrie, and this is part two of what I'm doing uh, as far as tracking goes in 2018. I did a video, part one, that showed you all of my planners for the year, the Hobonichi and the, T uh, the Chic Sparrow TN. These are various things that I'm using to track certain things throughout the year. And so I will go through them. And I have two Erin Condren's, a uh, Hobonichi A6 uh, English planner, and then my traveler's notebook here. So let's start with the littlest one first. Uh, this is my happiness journal. It, um, I got it from Hobonichi. It is their A6 uh, English Tesho um, planner. And it's the only one that they have in English. Um, but I got the this is a 2016 2017 uh cover it's the meraki cover the blue um the clouds and these happy little clouds make me very very happy um i fell in love with it when i saw it and i had to get it um i got it off of a an it's a, a used site so this was not one that i actually got directly from hobonichi but i also have the lovely little bob ross card that makes me happy when I see the happy little clouds. So it kind of has a whole theme of happiness. Um, and uh, this is just what I will be doing for my happiness journal. And so every, I wanted, I've been doing a happiness journal now for about uh, six months. And I had, I went through two uh, moleskin soft cover uh, journals in that time frame, and I decided I wanted one book to track all of my happiness for a year, and that's what I'm going to be doing with this specifically. And then up here at the top, I'm going to put one word that represents happiness for a day, and so friends, my love, my husband, um, and I'm going to put that in the monthly view. So this does have a monthly view and a daily view. This their English Tetra does not have a weekly view. Um, but that's what I'm going to do as far as my happiness journal goes. Uh, and I also wanted to test the English version of this. I had only seen the A6 uh, Japanese version, which is set up a little bit differently. But the English version actually is set up perfectly for what I want to use this for. So, um, And it still has the quote at the bottom, but I can actually read it this time. So... Uh, yeah, that is that is my happiness journal for the year. Uh, going on with this, this is my beautiful custom-made Chic Sparrow uh, tra Traveler's Notebook. It's the Odyssey Hera in wide, and it has rings, ink spots, ink spots, and ink splotches. And I love this book. Oh my gosh, so much. Uh, what I'm using this for, and I, I will carry it sometimes, but it's not like a daily carry for me. This actually has two moleskins in it. This is the moleskin uh, uh, planner, the planner notebook, the moleskin weekly notebook. Uh, this And this is going to be for my exercise training, uh, exercise training, workouts, uh, triathlon training, tracking. And so this is what I do every day. Monday is try training, then my run and my martial arts. Uh, I have Jeet Kune Do on Tuesdays, Kali on thir Wednesdays. And I do try training and be greater fitness training again on Thursdays. I do a long run day, which will be like a 5K at least. Um, but once every three months will be a 10K. Saturday is my rest day. Then Sunday is, again, triathlon and uh, be greater fitness training. And this is where I'm going to be train uh, tracking my training. So this is the first week of dis of January. And I'm doing this uh, for one reason is I am prone to tendonitis and I have arthritis in both my hands. And I go to, uh, an I see an orthopedic surgeon for my hands um, and different other issues that I have uh, because I'm 51 years old and my body is, is slowly or more quickly going to hell. So... I am tracking what I'm doing every week so that if I do have an issue pop up, I will know what caused it. And I can look back in history, at least until the beginning of the year, and see where issues started happening. But I'll be tracking my weight, my mood, 
um, and then if I start having any issues. Uh, so that'll go in there. And then this is a Moleskine um, personal or professional notebook, and it will be for recording uh, my vlogs. So I haven't actually put in my the first two vlogs that I've done, but I will put notes in with the date and what the vlog was about, and then what I've done as far as my editing and all of that here. So this will be for the entire year, or however long it lasts me, really. Um, for my vlogs, and that is my Badass Valkyrie Adventures uh, athletic vlog, which is which talks about me being an, a bariathlete, which is an extreme athlete that has gone through bariatric surgery, which I did 11 years ago. I had gastric bypass, and I used to weigh over 450 pounds, and now I don't. <laughs> and I'm an extreme athlete, so this will also uh, chronicle my... Uh, road to the world championship in May to Rome, as well as my transition after that, where I will be retiring from uh, full contact steel combat and transitioning to becoming a triathlete. And that all goes back to my adding in my training, uh, doing my triathlon training, which started on January 1st with my biking and will, uh, it'll also catalog my swims and all that kind of thing. So this is all for my athletes vlog and uh, I wanted something special for it and I am in love 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 with this cover from Chic Sparrow they did an amazing job and uh, again I fell in love with it I, teal is not even my color but everything has come to me in teal this year and I decided to listen to the fates and embrace it the last thing is two Erin Condren's <laughs> Now, I'm not using, these are actually uh, on-the-go life planners. This is the horizontal layout in the eight, but uh, in the eight by five. Um, and then this is the eight and a half by 11, and it's the vertical layout. These two are actual planners, but I don't use them as a planner. They are just a tracker. Um, as I mentioned before, I am going through a digital marketing course uh, through the University of Utah and getting certified in social media. Um, and then going on to SEO training and all of that. So with this one, it is tracking my blog, my blog, my blog off of my website. I'm putting in notes and research and all of that for my actual blog, uh, which like the next blog that I'll be doing on Sunday will be for goals versus revolutions, um, or resolutions for 2018 and, and various things there. But, uh, I, I will also be going back and inputting, uh, backwards logging my blogs uh, to have a full book, but this will go through all the way through the end of the 2018 so that mostly I will just have a record of it. Um, and then I can put down notes and things like that for my blog. This one, however, is where I track, I will be tracking all of my social media. At the top is Instagram. Uh, in the middle is Twitter. And at the bottom is YouTube. And what I have been doing is going back, and I've mostly done Instagram so far, uh, and putting in, I got this at the end of December uh, at TJ Maxx, of all places, and uh, I've been putting in what I posted on Instagram. And then what I, I will go back and put in what I posted on Twitter that day and what I posted on YouTube, or when I've posted on YouTube. And mostly it's just so I can have uh, one view of everything that I've done in a week as far as social media goes. Um, one, so that I can use it as a uh, reference in my course. But two, so that I can go forward and start planning and coordinating the, my channels uh, for my brand. And this, when I saw this book, I, I had actually been looking at Aaron Condren's because I'm intrigued by them. Uh, but I also didn't want to pay, you know, $70, $80 for a book that I didn't know if I was going to use or not. And so far, I really like this book. It actually is set up perfectly for what I want it to do, it is Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. And so it is ideal for what I want to track. And so it may, has made it easy to see what I've done in a month. And uh, I've even, you know, like tracked milestones, like when I hit 100 YouTube subscribers. Um, and just going back and seeing everything that I've done. So that is what I'm doing in this. 
and I, you know, this month I put the numbers of my followers. I'll update that on the 15th of each month and at the beginning of each month. And going forward, seeing, you know, what my different plans are uh, and how they are affecting my numbers, all of that for my brand. So that's what I'm doing with the Erin Condrens. So while I have a huge stack of planners and books, journals, whatever, they this is the only one that gets done daily. Um, and I just do it at night. It stays on my desk and I do it before I go to bed. Um, but the rest of them are just for research notes and that sort of thing. But I love them and I love the way that these will track everything and that I can keep it all in a, in a way that makes sense to me. So coupled with my part one, uh, this is my plan for 2018. And, uh, you know, if you do tracking in separate books other than your planner, uh, let me know what you use. I know a lot of people use Erin Condren's this way. And I, you know, Cindy, uh, Gunter Baldo from, uh, uh, Llama Loves, Llama's Love Letters. She does, uh, the hourly glance, hourly view, Erin Condren, which is the spiral, you know, it's, I just wanted to get some experience with it and some, uh, to just kind of try it out. And I'm so far, I'm loving it. Um, I, I love Hobonichi and I always will. The A6 is pretty tiny. I tried to use an, a Japanese version, uh, for work and it's just too small, but this works perfectly for my happiness journal and I'm loving it so far. And, you know, I cannot say enough wonderful things about my Chic Sparrow. So, what are you using? Uh, let me know in the comments below. If you have not subscribed, please do so. And, you know, if you'd like to give this a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, but I hope to hear from you soon. And I hope you've enjoyed the first week of 2018. And I would love to hear what your plans are for planning and for journaling and for tracking. Uh, let me know. And I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.